My name is Nicholas Bowling. This is the block mesh for Home Development 2. A lot to go into in under five in under ten minutes. Let's go. This is the player start area. Big fence to block you in. My run over here to see all the different goodies that aren't there yet because it needs more design. We'll see a gondola thing going back and forth from the start of the level to its end. There is nothing over here except these boxes and these lights leading up to the boxes showing that there's only one way to go. Oh yeah, night sky. How did I do that? I put it in its own sky box. Maybe more to explore over here? Nope. Yeah, nope. Run through here. Oh, what's... Run through here. Oh, what's that? A statue. Where is it pointing? At a water wheel and at a water tower. Neat. You can climb through here. Bathroom, set dressing, blah blah blah. Gondola going back and forth. Oh, you can climb up here. What's the point of that? So far, nothing. You can jump down over here. Why would you do that? Just to lead back to a place you've already been. Oh, look. Quad area. Nice. Ferris wheel. Nice. Carousel. Nice. Can I get to the carousel from here? No. Flooded doctor's office. That's not good. A gate you can jump down to and break half the level. Crud, but uh, it is what it is. How do I get up to that area? Ooh, light posts. Hint, 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 hint. hint. There we go. Not hard. Place to reset. One time, I mean, I can't do it that fast. Anyway. Lights from the goodies showing where you can go. If you fall down here, you can break the level and essentially skip this section. There is an extra s section based off of the jungle crew who's right over there. The only thing I put in there at the moment is goodies and different paths to kind of hit that everything leads back to itself. Wing ride providing more of a challenge so that the player has to stop and wait and time their jumps. Not hard because it goes slow. <laughs> Focal point is the water tower. I made it possible to be seen from everywhere in the level that you can actually reach. Jump over here, should be able to see the, the way back, see all the lights that are on or off, telling you where you need to go. Right now the lights are just goodies, which again, the goodies, once you collect, tell you that you've already been there. So I'm using that as a second mechanic. Gate opens.
gate opens from earlier. Yeah, you could have skipped all that just by jumping down here at the right time. You can make another shortcut if, for whatever reason, maybe this area gets destroyed at some point in the game. I don't know, but I added in another shortcut right here. Tried to use real world designs of putting important buildings like the medical station right next to a landmark for a kid like the carousel and Ferris wheel. So that way the kid doesn't have to remember where's the security building, they just gotta rem remember where's the Ferris wheel. Speaking of which, more goodies with lights showing where to go. Speaking of which, Ferris wheel. I made it so that jump is basically impossible everywhere else except once you get up high enough. And there's the moving gondola. Tram. Whatever. You can easily get to here from the start but can't get everything else. And I timed that poorly. Well, now that I have your attention and some time, let me show you what happens when you jump down here, because I'm kind of proud of that. How'd I get back here? I basically create a safety net at the bottom of the level that will always spawn you at the most recent checkpoint that you hit. Let's try that again. <laughs> and with that, well, I do have one other part, but it's mostly just, it's that jungle cruise area that's basically squared off that uh, was left over from the other project. I wanted to use it here, I never figured out a way to do it myself, so... But I think this video's gone on long enough. That's pretty much my level. Thank you. Have a wonderful time.